Hey guys, this is Elliot Akintunde, and I'm gonna show you how to do computer programming on just an iPad. And so what do I mean when I say computer programming on an iPad? I don't just mean little like fake tutorials. I mean that by the end of this video, you'll have your own website up and running on the internet that your friends can go to and access. And um, it's actually really easy to do. And the magic that makes this possible is this thing called uh, cloud computing. And so cloud computing has totally revolutionized computer science in the last like few years. And um, it's actually like how people do computer science now, like people at like Google and Facebook, the tools I'm teaching you are the types of tools that people are learning right now in order to get jobs at the tech companies. And um, it's actually really easy to do. Like if you've never used a desktop and you've never seen that stuff before, then it's actually easier to learn this because you don't have like this pre-programmed like old way of doing stuff. And so you might be wondering like, okay, what is cloud computing? It's like this fancy word that I've like heard being thrown around a lot, but what does it mean? So cloud computing is actually like really simple um, at like its most basic level. Basically all cloud computing means is that, you know, um, like instead of uh, writing a computer program on your iPad, so you can pretend like, oh, this is code, this is a little computer program, and then I run it and it turns into a little like application. Well, instead of doing that, basically you're just using the internet to connect to like Google's computer, like right here. And then what you're doing is you know, you basically are just like using your iPad as like almost like a little video game controller where your iPad is used to control this Google computer and to interact with it. And so there's still a computer that's running the code. It's just, it's not your computer. It's com like a computer way off in this building with like hundreds of thousands of computers. And then you're just using the internet to access the computer. Okay, so you might be wondering, what type of big fancy stuff do I need to download on my iPad? Like, what do I need to hack to get this working? Well, good news, you don't need to download anything. As long as you have an internet browser, so like Safari or uh, Firefox or Chrome, that's all you need. And then you just do all your work online. So I'm going to use Chrome. You can use whatever you want. It doesn't matter. So... Um, then you have to go to the website where you do all this cloud computing. And getting there is really easy. I mean, it's just like Google Cloud will probably pull it up, I'm guessing. Um, let's see. Yeah, the second thing, um, Google Cloud. And then it's just cloud.google.com. All right. And so then you click try it for free. And then here is where you create your Google Cloud account. And so just like how you create like a YouTube account or how you create like a Gmail account, you create like a Google Cloud account. Um, and so you just type in your email and then you have to give your address, you have to give your credit card. Don't worry, you get $300 free, which is more than enough money for uh, you know getting started and the type of stuff that you'll be doing. And you can use that for a year. That will definitely last you a year. You can change the settings so that uh, you won't be using any of your own money. And yeah, it's uh, not something you have to worry about. Uh, Google is not going to steal your credit card information or like, well, they already know your Gmail account, so you don't have to worry about them stealing that. And so once you sign in, you know, I already have an account, so I can't sign in again. But uh, pretty sure you can figure out, you know, how to do that on your own. Then you... Uh, will come to a page. Uh, yours will look a little different than this. Your first time signing in, it will probably say something like, congratulations, you just created a Gmail account, or sorry, a you know, cloud computing account and uh, can uh, start coding. And then it will automatically create a uh, project where you can start doing your work in. So uh, I think it'll be called my first project on your computer as well. So uh, right here, you see this thing uh, called My First Project, and you can uh, just click that, and well, I'm already in the project, so uh, probably when you click it, you'll see something like this that will say uh, Home. Oh, and then also right above that, 
upper left hand, you can see it says, oh, you have, well, it will say $300 for you when you just create it. And then, you know, 365 days where you can uh, use this account. And then uh, from here, we can start to run the code to, you know, create the website that, uh, you know, I promised you guys. So in the upper right hand corner now, next to where you see the little uh, guy, you see this uh, button that kind of looks, well, I don't know what it looks like really, um, but what it does is it pulls up the terminal. And then you see this kind of random thing come up at the bottom of your screen. So this is a terminal. This is what people used to program like way, way, way back in the day. Like not just before iPads, but like before a mouse and before a desktop. Like people wrote code in this thing, you know, and all you had was a keyboard and, you know, just text that would come back to you. And that was the cutting edge of, com of like computation. And that's what we're using right now to uh, run this thing. So um, we're not gonna build a program from scratch. We're gonna cheat a little. I'm gonna go uh, here and we're basically gonna follow the Google tutorial uh, for, you know, launching a program and for that, Probably app engine, Node.js, Google Quick Start. We Google that, uh, wait for it to uh, load, and then right here, click this link. And basically we're following this tutorial. If you know a thing or two about computer science, you can read this and uh, it will hopefully make sense. Uh, for our case, don't worry about that. We're basically just gonna be copying code. So you see this uh, git clone right here you copy this line, copy, you go back to your uh, terminal, and we're going to run that line, and then I'm gonna show you something. You know, you don't just have to use this super old school uh, interface. Oh, and so this part's kind of tricky. You have to be super exact about where you click in order to actually like get to the spot where you can like type code. Um, Actually, when I type, when I uh, do coding, I don't use this thing because it's just really annoying to use. Actually, let me uh, just, uh, well, actually, here, I'll show you this thing. I click this little thing in the uh, thing that looks like a pen icon. It'll bring up this other spot. So this brings up the terminal, and it'll also bring up a file system, which is the thing you see above the terminal. And so what's the file system? I mean, that's just like... Uh, you know, the file system that you're used to on your uh, iPad. So, you know, it's just this guy, you know, but it's this guy for, uh, for you know, uh, Google's cloud computer. All right, so uh, for this file thing, we are basically gonna install the basic setup. So that command from earlier, I just, you know, copied and pasted it in and then you know run enter and so that will install all these files so now if I just uh, do file refresh on this guy all those files will uh, be there uh, you see that now all these files appeared node.js I click that I have all these options app engine uh, I click this actually this is a little hard for me to click I can uh, well I'll just do it here. And then uh, I can go down and you see hello world. So hello world is like just the first computer program that you type, regardless of what language or whatever. They always call it uh, hello world. Um, I guess it's just like a tradition. So we go into that, there's two different versions. We're gonna run hello world flexible. And uh, they give you code right here, but we're gonna just follow the uh, code to type in the uh, tutorial. So we have to get to this location using this like terminal thing. You know, just because we're clicking it up here doesn't mean we're actually where we are when we run the code. So um, these are commands. There's only three commands, but again, you could just memorize it. I'm, I'll explain like exactly what's going on in a later tutorial. Uh, but ls, you can see where we are, and we have this like Node.js thing, which was this thing at the top. CD means you're going into another directory. We're going to go into uh, the Node.js one. So we start doing NOD, do tab, and the rest of it appears. Press enter, ls, see what's there, a bunch of stuff. We want to go into app engine. So CD space app engine, ls, oh, typed something wrong there. Aye, come on. 
there it is. So then we want to do ls, and then we want to do cd uh, hello world, and as you can see, this thing is kind of glitchy. It, like You don't see the bottom of it when you're typing. That's what I mean. And we're going to get something that's better than that soon. And then uh, we do ls again. Um, we have to... Yeah, this thing is torture. ls again. cd flexible. Cool. And now we type in those commands that were in the other thing. And I think it's... Uh, it's still going to be npm uh, start, so we run that one. Oh no, npm install is the first one. So npm install, you run that one. And so that is basically just getting all your code ready. It's installing all the other things you need to run the code that you see here. And uh, then we are going to run the commands to basically what we are going to run is the files inside here and uh, what these files do is they create a website and this is going to be a very simple website all the website says is in this app.js file um, again you don't have to worry too much about what these lines say but it will just do this thing will say it will say send to the person who goes to the website, the words hello world. And actually, let's just make it a little more interesting. Instead of saying just hello world, how will it be hello world, you know, I'm Elliot. Oh, I can't do that. I am Elliot Akintunde. Cool. So we just added a few more sentences, well, a little bit more text there. And then we can go up to file and we can save it. So we saved the changes that we made. Cool. So now let's go back to this little terminal guy when you know we installed those packages that we needed to install. And then we have to uh, get back down to the bottom of this thing. Cool. And then so we, uh, right there, we just type more stuff. What we want to type is, let's just get into there. So we already install, so then it'll be npm um, start, I believe. Um, let's see what the tutorial says. Yeah, it's npm install, npm start, yep, and then we just can deploy it with uh, gcloud app deploy. Cool. So now we run npm run. Run. And so what that does is it runs it locally. And what that means is that you can now see it if we uh, go here and click this little preview thing and go to 880, we'll see our, uh, oh, got an error there. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, npm run script and then deploy oh i see they're just saying start i just do node app.js or i could just try deploy which is gcloud app deploy um let's just try gcloud app deploy let's just see so this what we're doing is we're making this website public to like the world basically by running this command and so they say it's just gcloud app deploy let's see if that's it gcloud app deploy do I want to really deploy yes I do and now it's deploying it and it might take a few seconds for this thing to run but you know we can check to see if this thing actually uh, gets launched for everyone to see all right, so it took a little bit of time, but the code finally finished running. Oh, and just, you know, right after you see this command come up, it might take a few seconds longer of running before like the next thing I talk about works. So give it faith. You might have to, you know, go get lunch and come back. But now we have our code up on a website. 
Oh, and then another thing to add is that I forgot to do it here, but um, you saw the only thing I had to click after I did like the run command was like Y. There might be one command you have to do before that, which is like, you'll say like, hey, choose a zone. And you do like, there'll be a list of things, one, two, three, four, five, numbers are different zones. Just do like, click one and enter. You know, that's all you have to type is one and enter. And then, you know, another thing, do you want to continue? Yes. And then it comes to here. And you see, they tell you where to go for the website in this um, stuff. You can have to, you're gonna have to get used to reading like really weird looking, um, you know, old school typing stuff. And so here we see, you know, uh, updating service, setting traffic, and coming down to deployed service default to HTTPS Daring Studio 204501.appspot.com. So that will say something different to you. That will be a different website for you. But basically, you just go to that location and you will see the website you created. So uh, we go to, what was that? 201. Okay, I didn't, oh, Daring. Yeah, and then it comes up. I, I went to it a few seconds ago. So Daring Studio 204. Go to that location and hello world, I am Elliot Akintunde. And there you go. That's how you create your first website. All right, guys, I hope you liked the video. Can't wait to make more of them for you to watch. Later.